And a developing story this morning, Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys is responding to the death of his brother Aaron. The 34 year old was found dead in his Lancaster home yesterday. Carter became a teen heartthrob in the early 2000s with this pop hit. Carter's album went triple platinum and led to several acting roles. He also went on to perform as an opening act for Britney Spears and for his older brother, Nick's band, the Backstreet Boys. And within the past hour, Nick posted these images on Instagram. The caption reads in part, I have always held on to the hope that he would somehow, someday, want to walk a healthy path and eventually find the help that he so desperately needed. I will miss my brother more than anyone will ever know. ABC's Chris Connolly has more. A toe-headed tween to teen dreamboat who enjoyed platinum albums and millions of ardent young fans. What's it like to be 12 years old and have groupies? I, I love my fans. Well, they're not groupies, they're fans. Singer and rapper Aaron Carter reigned as the little prince of pop in the early 2000s. His wide-eyed innocence boosted by a Sugar Rush cover of I Want Candy in 2000. And one year later, I was hanging at the car just playing some ball. The cutie pie swag kid. of That's How I Beat Shaq. The younger brother at Backstreet Boys mainstay, Nick Carter. A nine-year-old Aaron got his start opening for his brother's group in 1997. Years later, years later, Aaron's party come get it went triple platinum. Forming the single on GMA in 2000. Rising stardom saw him become a generation's entry-level crush. The girls who were outside, they'd be screaming as the bus pulled into the backstage. He gazed soulfully or buoyantly from endless pages of teen media and become a fixture on such demographically attuned TV series as Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Lizzie McGuire. Is this yours? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lizzie McGuire. Aaron told me in 2011, I love being a performer and entertaining, and when I can't do that, my world is in shambles. It doesn't work for me. His recording career would lose its luster, and as he entered adulthood, he'd be overtaken by a myriad of personal and professional crises. Obviously, his adulthood was pretty troubled. He had rehab stints, he had drama. Ready for a new chapter, Carter had tweeted back on October 29th. This year has been super tough, but I've learned so much. Thanks for the support, everyone. Speaking for her generation once again, Hillary Duff honored his memory in her remembrance, which she addressed directly to him. I'm deeply sorry that life was so hard for you and that you had to struggle in front of the whole world. You had a charm that was absolutely effervescent. Boy, did my teenager self love you deeply. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.